Hello everyone, today we're going to be revealing the Dilophosaurus from the Jurassic Park Hammond Collection, so let's get started. Alright, so before we unbox this figure, let's take a look at the box. Alright, so, it's got the Hammond Collection logo with John Hammond and the amber right there, and then the Dilophosaurus, Mattel, and on this side it has a picture of the figure, Hammond Collection, and the Jurassic Park logo. On the back, um, it has the picture of the figure, um, and a picture from the movie when he killed Dennis Nedry and then it has the name and a little bio you can read the bio um, pause so you can read it I guess and on this side it has the just the Hammond collection logo again all right so now now we're done looking at the box let's open it up Alright, so now that we got the figure out of the box, I just want to take a look at the accessories. So we got the frill, which is really nice. It looks pretty much just like the movie. Nothing on the back. Um, mine is a little bit bent because of the box, but it, it's alright. And then we got this little, like, wrapped up frill, I guess. When it's, like, not spitting the venom. Which, none of these are accurate because the Dilophosaurus did not have a frill in real life, but... It works for the movie, and I'm glad they included it. All right, so now that we're done with the accessories, I just want to take a look at the figure. So it is pretty nicely sculpted and stuff. I When I was taking it off the box, I did kind of cut one of the um, fingers off a wire cutter, so I'm kind of worried about that. That will, like, snap off, but for now, it's all right. The arms are a little bit loose, but it's, I've, it's fine. The tail's bendy, which I've heard a lot of complaints about the um, amber collection figures with their tail, um, but, and I think the Velociraptor had something wrong with its tail, but this is actually pretty nice, um, I'm not gonna bend it that much because I don't want it to snap, but for now, it is pretty nice, the head does look very, very good, um, the crest are pretty well, and the eye is pretty good for a dinosaur, um, inside the mouth, it's like, it's normal, it's normal with all the other figures, um, that we get in this line, and the other, like, basic fi dinosaur figs that we get, it would, um, the articulation is very nice, and he, it's not too loose aside from the arms, um, you can get him into some cool poses, and he s does stand pretty tall, about six inches or five inches. Um, he is a very good figure. He's not as big as Amber Collection, which is to be expected, but he would fit with any other um, basic figures and um, Hammond Collection figures. All right, so now we're gonna compare it to the Jurassic World Dominion Dilophosaurus, which these two are very similar, um, but they do have their differences, obviously, because one is a collector's figure and one is just a basic figure. Um, one thing is that I do like the frill on this one a lot more, just because of the more, like, red, veiny look, which, it's not accurate, but it does look more, be it looks better, like, as an aesthetic, but it is not accurate. Another thing, like, I'm surprised that the um, Hammond Collection figure does not have, like, a, vom like, a vomit s venom spit accessory like the Dominion one had, but it's it's like okay um you can you can like put it in i guess there's not a hole for it but it would work um they do scale nicely with each other like this one is a juvenile or something but the one just park was a juvenile um so it won't it's not perfect um it's basically what i say about these two uh let's wrap this up this is going to be the end of this review. I do recommend this figure if you like Dilophosaurus or Jurassic Park. I think it's a good addition to um, a collection. And I ju it's all positive for me. I think the paint's good, and I think that the sculpt's good, and it scales good with other figures. Um, so that's basically all i got to say. Um, check out my other videos, and bye.